Welcome back to Summer Sea. Since we've gotten the Maynard class frigate in uh, the last episode, as promised from before, I will start doing underwater uh, explorations from now onwards. As well, since we already have the Memento Mori equipped and a work in progress version of the Memento Mori equipped as well at the bridge, I think we are quite set actually. So far, we have found a few known underwater ports, which is, I know for sure the low barnet is one, even though we've never been there. I know underneath the ragged crow, there's also one. There's one, uh, here, there's Ganpole next to Chalonate, and of course there's Rose Gate. I'm not sure where the others, but we We'll find out, I guess. Our first stop will be at Low Barnet, and then we'll go to Mutton Isle. And then we'll figure out where to go next. So without further ado, let's go. Shall we go underneath? Let's go underneath. Welcome to the Untersea. And of course, there's a current right in front of London, of course. Okay. There is one place here that is right in front of London, which is this. An abyss. A chasm gapes below your submarine, descending into unknown fathoms. I can dive. Explore the abyss. Deeper. Your helmsman gives you a questioning look. You say nothing. You are unaccustomed to repeating yourself. With a trembling hand, she steers your vessel down. You sink into the abyss like a coffin into a grave. Stony walls rise about you. Your vessel's light picks out bits of undulating anemones. Good luck, of course. Uh, there's a few things we could do here. We could retrieve and eat one of the nodules, the part. Or dive deeper. Hmm. Sixty-six percent. Let's not do this yet. Let's retrieve and eat one of the nodules. A true sailor will find the taste familiar. It is said. This ride will increase your iron by twenty, but decrease your mirrors by ten. Success or failure, you will gain the ride, but failure will increase your terror. I do need mirrors though. 20 iron would be very sweet, but I already have 20 iron more than mirrors. Maybe I will not do this then. Oh, let's go dive deeper. Succeed or fail, you will go deeper, but the failure will damage your hull. Mm, okay. Oh, I failed. Deeper still, your helmsman obeys the order suddenly, driving the vessel even deeper down. Soon, the submarine creaks against the pressure. The weight of the Z is crushing, and though your shell can hold, it suffers. Your submarine's pinprick of light shines onto a cliffside, illuminating only a spot of a vast, inverted cathedral, a fathomless church. There's a church down there. Oh. The Abyss of Pomegranates. The walls of the chasm are as abundant as a garden. Rippling lawns of Posidonia, copses of shadowed kelp, garlands of coral pulsating with tubular sponges. And here, a vine bearing melon sized nodules, the color and shape of pomegranates. Mm. I could perform the ritual of feasting here. But I can't. Performing the abyssal rituals in the correct order will lead to a discovery. Interesting, isn't it? But let's remember that this is the abyss of pomegranates. And uh, since you can't do anything here, let's just ascend. You have seen enough of darkness for now. 
rising. With every meter climb, you feel the probability of you meeting an untimely death decline. From absolutely certain to just likely. Good luck. Okay, let's depart then. Away, you drift steadily up and out of the mall. You rise from the abyss. Okay. Okay, let's go to Low Barnard. This side, this side. What's this? What's here? Oh. What is this? Oh. Unexploded, unclear bomb. The silt half covers a gleaming copper spear, studded with spikes. A deep red light flickers continuously from within its central chamber. Your submarine's lights fail and darken as they glance across the shell. I could scavenge a mechanism from the device. It may come in useful. Be careful though. Oh. There's a chance for you to explode? Let's try. I was fortunate. You don your diving gear. Your ship's lights falter when they fall on the sleeping bomb. Their beams unravel into feeble threads of luminosity, then dissipate. It is difficult working in the almost dark, but you manage to retrieve an intricacy of brass and glass and gleaming gold without offending the device. Oh, I've gained an outlandish artifact. Nice. Okay, so that uh, causes the glistening to disappear. I see, I see. Okay, let's go into the low barnard. Oops, I hit the sides. Okay. Low Barnard, a sunken church with docking ports. Sediment has built up against the lower walls, and long ago choked neglected crypts and crooked tombstones. The interior is sealed, yet the deep peals of the tower's bell can be felt even through a submarine's hull. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can deliver a wandering person. We picked him up in Visage, I think, quite some time ago. He presses close to a porthole as you dock. Low Barnard, he murmurs, the gate to the deeps. Mm -hmm. Call to worship. You'll hear tales here from distant trenches of the undersea, and some of them might even be true. But the strangest ones are jealously guarded. Light from the dock glints in his eye. Hidden mysteries and pliant listeners. He glances at you, then gathers his luggage. Won't you join me below for a while? An explorer could learn much of value here. Okay. Sure. I can... Do some stuff here that is not available right now. But... Okay, let's explore the church. What goes on here? What brings its congregation together? Submarine services. There is no pulpit. The organ has bent broken pipes, but Low Barnard is still a house of worship of sort. Groups of sailors gather in the aisle. The coir benches are clean and face a makeshift stage. Lantern-eyed fish pass behind colourful windows of stained glass. The door to the bell tower is guarded by two burly vergers. The tridents are a nice touch. Okay, now a port report. I see, I see. Oh, I can trade stories with the congregation or witness a contest of stories. Let's trade some stories. Your appearance and bearing attract attention. They are eager for new tales. Uh-huh. Ooh. All actions which I cannot do. I have to bring port report from other undersea ports. Okay, okay. Um, let's witness a contest of stories then. The congregation is gathered before the altar. A sermon? But there seem to be two preachers. A competition is in progress. A voluble visitor tells the sideways regiment, a plunderous legion of trained crabs. First, they present a mighty collective shell. Then comes the onslaught of a thousand nippers, 
why I only escaped thanks to a tiny cloud of ink from my squid, which I befriended for precisely such an occasion. The unlikely story wins a claim of the congregation. Whilst her rival slums disappointed, the visitor waves her top hat and processes to the bell tower. Its doors close behind her. Okay. I can ask about the competition. What kind of contest is won by nonsensical lies about crabs? Indeed. A regular listener. You approach an apprehensive seaman who is staring into the distance, perhaps imagining marching ranks of crustaceans. You ask what happened here. The competition? The best story wins. Captain says it's all in the delivery, but you need a fine yarn to spin too. When you inquire about the winner's reward, his gaze turns wistful. If they are lucky, they get taken up. Wish I had a story to tell. Taken up? To where? Mm, I can follow her into the bell tower? What's in there? Wild riches or just a good buffet? Not on the list. Two surly vergers block your approach to the door. One points back at the congregation. Only winners allowed, he grunts. Next one's soon. Ah. I have to come back with a port report from another undersea port then. Okay, let's go about my business. The congregation is breaking up for now. Chimes. A few souls linger, gazing at the closed doors of the bell tower. You have just turned away when you hear the sonorous bong of the bell within. Its peals repeat every few seconds, before becoming abruptly muffled, then finally silent. An excited murmur runs through the congregation. Although you keep an eye on the bell tower door, the winner does not emerge. Do they die? Do they die? Well, either way, I can't do anything here now. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we're back on the Mutton Island, and it seems like we could do this here. The Crimson Beast of Winter lurks in your hold. This is not a healthy situation for you, your ship, or your crew. Here. The second delivery. Hmm. Okay. Let's try the blockade of Mutton Isle. Yep. Oh no, we cannot get to the Cherry Man. Hmm. Where is where is the other place again? Okay, the Isle of Cats to favor the Widow. I cannot do the Cherry Man's one because of the blockade on this island. So let's go try with Isle of Cats one then. Let us chart our course. We could go to... Hmm. Let's go to Iron Republic, Utter Shroom, Isle of Cats. We'll go via Under the Sea. And we'll try to find some places, some underwater ports around this area. We'll go south to Iron Republic to restock fuel, Utter Shroom for Blemigans, Isle of Cats. 
we need to drop by the cello nade as well. And the Empire of Hands to deliver hydrogen. And then we figure out after that, we need to drop by the Khan's area too. So we'll see, we'll see. But let's let's go and let's transform our ship as well. We'll explore the Undersea from now on while we head to the Iron Republic. Hmm. Okay, there's some currents here. There's something glowing here. It's not. It's nothing. I cannot deny that this is very, very creepy. Okay, there's something glowing here. What's that? What's it? What is that? Unclear what this is, but our engineer assures us that it will burn. I get one feel. Interesting. Okay, what's this? There's one glowing thing there too. Can I go past this? I can. What the hell is this? What? A burst of irrigable light, the colors of forgetting. Terror minus 10. Fragments, it minus 100. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I don't want to get that. Oh, what's this? Let's kill it. Let's kill it. It's a beloved. Will you attack me? Oh. I think you have to kill these things for... Uh, that... To for the gun pose in it. Okay. You have defeated a beloved. A cloud of oily bubbles signals the bee's end. Its interminable refrain of moans and burbles and plaintive whistles finally dies away like a harmonium going down a drain. Um, I can fillet it for supplies, dissect it for knowledge, or let the bees go. Oh. Oh, because for the gun pole. This will send these bees to the gun pole. Let's. Let's let it go. A behemoth goes to die. The crew watches uncomfortably as the red wake spreads. Is this mercy or cruelty? The murmured arguments continue long into the night. The looks they shoot you are all the harsher for their uncertainty. Ah. It's only two terror. It's only two terror. What's this? Scattered bones. Bones lay scattered and gnawed on the Z bed. Rib cages yawn open. Breast bones shattered. Fragments of skull littered the sand like pearls. I can take a closer look at the bones, scavenge the bones, or gather up the bones. Let's study it first. What killed these people? They are people? Dawn your diving gear. Many of the bones are blackened with cannon fire. Others are scarred as though by swords or machetes. Scraps of tendon still cling, severed or cut to broken fibula. A row of skulls bear round bullet holes between the eye sockets. Aha! Okay. Interesting. Seems like there's a lot to see down here. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a tris tris elegant, trisk elegant. Okay, you're slow. It's slow. It's coming though. Okay, okay, it's dead now, it's dead. Oh, I have no idea what this is. You have defeated a Trisk Elegant. It spins as it dies. 
jetting boiling water from each of its maws with a noise like a hundred mishandled kettles. A dark foam vortex forms. Okay. I could harpoon it, avoid the maelstrom. I cannot let the beast go. Hmm. 100% though. It's a risk, but in Fallen London, they pay double for anything pole and line caught. Okay. Pull, my hearts, pull! The winch creaks and whines as the beast tries to bore itself further into the dark below. But the howling line holds. Finally, the tree's elegant is spent. It floats, turning gently like a child's pinwheel. You haul the thing in with care, but it disintegrates on the cargo floor. Luckily, there are glints of value amid the slathered remains. Now I have five stygian ivory and a live specimen. Nice. Okay, there's a thing here. Oh. Okay, okay I, I need oxygen. I need oxygen. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot about this. We cannot... Uh, <laughs> travel unlimitedly with... Uh, in the undersea. Okay, we are we are near the Iron Republic. Let's just go to the Iron Republic. Okay. Who? Okay, it slowly recovers on top as well. Okay, okay. We're back at the Iron Republic. Let's compile a port report. What? New passions. The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. That is a hatred for fountains. Here is an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you are washed with the nostalgia for hatching of the egg. Write it down. Write it all down. Perhaps you'll be rid of it. Okay, I got two hearts. Nice. Nice. What else can I do here? Let's open the Cavalry Doctrine. Hmm. Only fuel and coffee too. Do I have whole space? Hmm... I can... Deliver some coffee for Khan's glory. And the rest fill up with fuel. I know I'm a little low with supplies, but... I think we can get some supplies along the way. We, we will do fine. We will do fine. Ow! My bad, my bad. Okay, let's go underneath while on our way to the other shroom. We'll explore a little bit and hopefully by the time we get to other shroom we'll have the something awaits you quality. Oh, there's a Trace Elegant there again. Let's kill it for the other option that we could do with Don't go too close. Momentum Mori is OP. Okay, let's avoid the maelstrom. Why let the beast avenge itself at the death? Not today. Your engines struggle as you try to escape the roiling whirlpool. Abruptly, the tree's elegant collapses in on itself as though unable to withstand a sudden vast pressure. With the final screech, it drills downward far into the deep. Your vessel bobs, hull metal ringing in the sudden calm. At least there are soothing swirls forming in the flotsam it left behind. Okay. Nice. Okay. What else can I find around this area? More glowy things, please. More glowy things. Uh, I wish they have some sort of like, 
underwater map, but there's none. Okay, I have the something awaits you. Okay, and I s what the f what the heck is this? Oh, and what's that? Is that a ship or a monster? What's that? Do I ram into it? Oh! It's a putter pony! It is a ship! It has crew 8! Okay, it's fairly weak. You have defeated a putter pony. The Canade submarine is taking on water. Through one of its portholes, a lamb light waves frantically. Uh, I can loot it or hear the crew's last wishes. The putter pony is lost, but you can at least provide a human face at their airlock glass. Okay. Fog on the glass. Water pours into the putter pony. Its tormented metal groans as it's torn by the Z. A woman's face appears at the porthole. It swiftly forks with her last breaths. Her lips move. Neither of us should be here. The putter pony buckles entirely. She's lost. Okay, I'm intriguing snippets. Interesting. Is there a specific vessel? I wonder. I'm only around this area because of the wreck of Miko, which apparently is nothing, I think. It's supposed to be like here, I think. I was hoping it would is something under the Z that I could explore, but I don't think it's anything. Yeah, I don't think it's anything. Oh well. Okay, let's go to Atashroom then, which is a little bit south of here. Oh, is this like the Atashroom's... Yeah, I think these are like the mushroom stalks for the Atashroom. Because it's like uh, this giant mushroom after all. Okay, let's go up. We are almost out of oxygen anyway. Too close, too close. Okay, we are back in the utter shroom. Let's trade honey for supplies and blemigan. Mm -hmm. Do I have whole space? I do. Let's get more blemigans. You only give me one. I want more. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I can experiment with your strange catch here. Sure. Uh-huh. And what else can I do here? Gather intelligence for a port report. Okay, since we have like three live specimens now, um, who needs live specimen again? Did the cladery air want a live specimen? No. However, I can do this. Volunteer for your own cladery operation. You yearn. She could make the yearning stop. What do I yearn? Burning? Let's try. The knife cuts. She asks what you want to remove. Then she makes you consent three times to having it taken away. Then the blade. There's pain in your ear, yes. But that is not the chief sensation. The other thing is a noise and a resistance like shears through heavy cloth. It is located in your mind and at the back of your neck. Your eyes go black. I haven't blinded you, she says mildly, as you sit there blinking and swallowing. But it will feel for a time as if I had. You lost a great deal of light. I now have a missing earlobe. Okay. Ah, uh, but I got a Clattery Sylvania, okay. Menaces, yearning, burning, quality has gone. Okay. Hmm. I could 
do this as well with the Sooth and Cooper long box. But I kind of want to keep the long box for other things. Oh, and now since I have a Blamigan, I can do her quest. A cure for animusons. I have an idea, but I'm going to need flesh from chillier kingdoms. So lace fruit from the melting isles where the mangrove college lies, and yes, more muta salt. I regret that it's not cheap. Okay. Grim resolution. She turns from her workroom, eyes downcast. No, no. My blood still runs too hot. It will increase day by day. But I wonder if this matter of blood is the key. Okay. I've lost, I've even lost a secret. You've elected to help the Briss Campaner find what she needs. Okay. Scintillac and Soleil's fruit. I have a theory about the properties of fluid lights and their procession through the highways of the heart. Hmm. One Scintillac. I still have Soleil's fruit. A Scintillac. Okay, let's look at the chart. Oh, Port Cecile is some ways away though. Hmm. I suppose it is fine if we are just going to explore around this area. And then we'll probably drop by Station Tree for the Sooth and Cooper long box. And then we'll go to the Khan's area and Port Cecile. Okay, okay. I can do it. Let's go this way then. And then because I need to get to Phantom King's Hall with the Sintelag as well for the White Molly Flower. Okay, I can do it. I can do that. Okay, let's go to somewhere where we could transform. Okay, let's slowly make our way to Station 3. We're taking a weird way, but it should be fine. We're just playing the game for fun now anyway. Is there another Potter Pony? It is. Is it? It is another Potter Pony. Can I kill you another time? I know I am. I seem extremely bloodthirsty when I have the Memento Mori. I don't know why. Let's loot it this time. Quickly, the damage done to its shell was immense. Already, the hull is collapsing. Down! Your crew moves swiftly. They bring back supplies and fuel. One staggers aboard with a bundle from the captain's desk. There are scorched and sodden pages, journals of sauna readings, all completed in minute handwriting. There's even wrecked measuring equipment. None of it of any use, but what's this? Okay, I got supplies, fuel, and... A filthy scrap of paper, crease and grimy. It's a page from a journal. On the day we saw the Pillars of Irem, they are not what I expected. Irem is a place one does not expect. That is its nature. You have seen it in your dreams. Yes, you, who found this page long after my death. I knew when I wrote these words that you would read them one day. Irem taught me this, and now Irem's lesson is all that remains of me. Hmm, okay. It's not so long after your death, though. It's... I killed you. Am I sorry? Maybe. Maybe a bit. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, there's something here. Let's see, let's see. Oh! 
A wreck. The wreck waits below a dark shape in dark water. What caused it to sink? And does anything salvageable remain? Rescue a survivor? The wreck is recent and a rhythmic knocking from within indicates someone is alive down there. 64% chance. Oh, I failed. Burial by Z. You and several crew don diving suits and hurry to help. As you try to clear a safe path to the survivor though, his struggles grow frenzied. By the time you reach him, he has foolishly consumed the last of his air. There is nothing to retrieve except his remains and last belongings. Oh well, supplies, game terror, mm -hmm. and a lamentable relic. Oh well, where am I? I'm somewhere in between. What? Okay, this is another place. Oh, why does the texture here look so gross? Why does the texture here look so gross? Okay, that's Abby's Rock. Wait, is it because I'm near the station tree and these are like... Or it could be Fathom King's Hold. Okay, it might be Fathom King's Hold. The texture is around the Fathom King's Hold area. Oh, there's a brain coral here. What's this? I know this shadow is station tree, but what's this? Can I go into it? Nope. <laughs> of course not. Okay. Okay, let's... I like there's like seaweeds and stuff here. Let's go to station tree. Haven't found a single new undersea island yet. Is it me or does the Hunter Z feel smaller than the regular Z? The map does feel smaller, isn't it? Okay, we're back at Station Tree. Hmm. There's a few things we could do here. We can we have questions for the acolyte. Observing the last autopsies or errands. I think we did the errand one. Let's do observing the latest autopsies. There are many, many boxes piled up under the steepled roof. Oh. I thought I have something awaits you. Hmm. But this, there's this one, the wife that I can do. Or is there like specific ones that I could do? Maybe the boxes are numbered? Who knows? Maybe it's just random. Let's do the wife. She has a silver ring on her hand. An old sort of secret. The ball is big as a grapefruit this time and rides high under the woman's diaphragm. The operation is quick, and the acolyte plainly expects what she finds. 35 years in love with someone other than her husband, but she never said a word of it, and no one guessed, not even the lady in question. You have learned by now to recognize the acolyte's tone or voice when she is pleased. She seals the black palette into a jar and stamps the wax with an export stamp. Okay. Interesting. So, so the wife thought she was in love with the husband, but apparently she's not. Like, and even she don't know it. How is this a tale of terror? How is this a tale of terror? Okay, let's. Oh, exchange a long box for hard metal ingot. Yes, I'll do this. The last hard metal ingot we got, we gave to the principal at Port Cecil. But I want to keep one on myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then that's... That concludes our visit here. 
Mm-hmm.